So to begin, I just wanted to show you guys basically um, everything that I do every single day and see how much money you can actually make from it. So the first thing I'm going to do is, um, actually what I like to do is I like to get out my, where is it, my pack yak. And that's all I like to do, my pack yak and my Varak teleport tab. And all i got to do is spawn my pack yak and then teleport to Varok. And once you've done that, you essentially run a little bit southeast. And then buy the battle staffs. So I'm going to buy the battle staffs from Varok and Luna Island. And um, I'll be back with you in a sec. And we buy the extra 20 off Baba Yaga. Yes, we, are, we can buy 20 this time. Last time I could only buy 18, but that's always good. So that's 20 there. So that's, um, how much is that? 560 and 140, so 700k spent on battle starves. Uh, it's now time to make my way down to Ooglu, and get me some potion flasks. That's the first, uh, 50 potion flasks gun done. I just said gun. Gotta head over to Jitizo. Is it Jitiz? No, near, what are, what are the Jiz or Jitiz, Nitiz, or whatever it's called. I'm gonna head over there and get me the Yakhides and make me some bank. Hold on, but it deposit all this stuff first. What else did I want to do today? Oh, Wicked Hood. So I think I'm going to use the pouches just to store a little bit of extra essence. Um, where are my essence? There, there they are. I'm going to fill up my my thingamabobs real quick. Here we go, son. So time to empty this. Do the small and the large pouch. Giant pouch. And the massive pouch. There we are. That's 216 blood runes crafted. And that's a profit of 66k. Probably not worth it. I guess for a little bit of extra money every day. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably not going to do it because 60k really isn't that much money. Okay, so I've been told to buy the broad arrowheads. And um, a massive, massive thank you to Damn Girl 114 or Beza. Absolute champion. Because I did delete the, um, but yeah, massive thanks to Beza or Damn Girl, because I did delete the previous Audacity clip, and I didn't know how to get it back, but then all, I just controlled Y a bunch of, control Z to one bunch of times, then I hit control Y, and I went back to the initial one, so that's absolutely crazy, and you are the man. But Maz Shana has another 3,000 broad arrowheads, if you gave me some of those. So I spent 300k on buying these arrowheads and there's an extra 144k that's quite good it's that's quite good 444k so the profit of 140 144k for like next to no work and i want to try the feathers as well trying to buy the feathers because i've been told that the feathers are also a good way to make money so i'm going to try that out and see how much we make so since i can only buy a thousand off this guy i thought i could buy feather packs but i bought them i bought them for 6000 gp and I can sell them for 33 kgp. So that's a lot quicker than the uh, Wicked Hood rune crafting. And, you know, probably more money than the Wicked, ha Wicked Hood rune crafting. Uh, trade Arva. So another 1,000 from Arva. That's quite nice. Another 30k odd gp or something like that. I can't find the place where the... I can't find the person who sells the packs of feathers. So unfortunately, I can only, I'm only going to buy 3,000 because this is one of those... Um, one of those tedious tasks that's just, you know, you don't really make much money off of it. And it's just something that I just don't want to do every day. But the arrowheads, on the other hand, is probably worth doing. 150k for like, you know, for no work. Um, I put more work in buying the feathers than I have the arrowheads. And I made like twice the profit I have. Um, so I'm going to do the arrowheads, but I'm not going to do the feathers every day. Done um, just a couple of calculations. I spent 300k on the broad arrowheads. 18k on the feathers. I spent 700k on the battle staffs. And 53k on the yak hides. And I spent nothing on the potion flasks apart from maybe the yak, which is a couple of k. Um, but you know, this take this is taken maybe um, if you did it, um, you know, if you did it one after another, it would have taken you maybe about, oh, it would have taken about 20 minutes to half an hour um, just to complete all this. I guess, or if, I guess if it took half an hour, it probably wouldn't be worth doing. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys basically how much I've made just from doing these dailies. Um, Take next to no effort and you can make about... So I spent 1,071k and I sold them for 2.25 million. You know, and all that is a profit of about 1.2 million um, GP every single day for about maybe... I don't know how much profit you can make from that. Uh, but the chunk of that profit came from the yaks, the yak hides. And the yak hides take about 10 minutes to do. 
Um, and the potion flasks, so it's mainly just the yak hides and the potion flasks that make you the most money off this every single day. Um, so if, if you were to choose two things to do out of all of these, I would do the yak hides and the potion flasks. So Rorori apparently can range probably from like 2 to 5 mil an hour, depending on how lucky you get, I guess. I'm not sure. I've never really done Ascension, the, the Ascension dungeon before, but I'm going to head down and... I'm going to descend into the Ascension Dungeon. I don't know what I'm doing. I've been told to go deep in the Wildy. No, deep into the um, Ascension Dungeon by Frazix, so I don't get crashed. This guy's got a completionist cape. Finally made it here. Thank you, Frazix, for um, sending me the screenshot to show me how to get here. But um, I want to see how much money we can make here from an hour of just camping here. I'm um, see how many keys I can get. Um, Trent's told me that uh, there's a beam of light that shines over the um, keys and stuff when I get them, so I'm pretty sure I can just relax here. Hopefully, Soul Split will, you know, be good enough to regenerate my health. My, I just said health, but I've got sacrifice on my ability bar, just you know, so I don't have to eat as many food or whatever. Um, but you know, we'll see how it goes. I've never done this before, like I said. Um, so it's exciting to try something new, and I'll, I guess I'll show you guys how much money I make. Now I don't know if that's really lucky, but I just got a keystone straight off the bat, like after like maybe my tenth kill. Is that lucky? Or I, le I legitimately just stopped recording, and now I have to turn my recorder back on. So that's the second key of the trip. Uh, it's a Tertius. I'm not sure how much these are. I'm not sure which the most expensive one is, but I've got the Sextus and the Tertius so far. Um, so that's the third key we've got. It's called a Sea Cucumbers. Um, so it's like a Sea Cucumber, but we've got a Sea Cucumbers. Um, you know, three keys in 20 minutes. I ain't complaining. Here we go. So that is key number four. I've got to find it on the ground first. There it is. The sea cucumbers again. There we go. That's the two of the. There we go. 320k piece. So that's an average of minimum 1.2 mil made here in about maybe half an hour or something like that, which is pretty good. So I'm going to teleport out and I want to do. I'm going to do some Araxo. Have a little break from the series, and we'll do a little bit of Araxo. I reckon. Try and get a kill. So that's one of the um, one of the many trips. I thought I'd just show you guys basically what I got from the first trip. So I got 133 green dragon hides, 26 rami torsals, and 26 26 runite ores, which I guess um, is 846k worth of revenue. Um, I don't know how much I lost, but I definitely gained quite a bit of money. Um, but yeah, so 846k. That's only in um, what? How many kills is that? Six add one, so only seven kills. Um, which is pretty solid, you know, that's averaging over 100k a kill, which is quite good. Um, but yeah, and Trent's calling me. And that's Trent just showing me the stuff he's just bought off rswalmart.com. So he's got a, he just bought the uh, full armor deal, bought for a few dollars, his um, for bandos for a couple of dollars. He got his 360 mil cash for very, very cheap. Um, so Trent, um, yeah, 526 mil. I'm not quite sure how much he spent on that with RS Walmart, but um, yeah.